Now, we have some very interesting polling data here to talk about that's very important. It comes from public policy polling. It polled about, it surveyed about 850 people. I think it was 846. And there is some interesting information here that's very important to note for the election, the 2020 election specifically, but you can definitely take an overarching message from this. Now, everything that I've said up until this point, citing obviously polling data, will now manifest itself here. Now, let's kind of build up to this, okay? So, as you guys know, corporate Democrats like Hillary Clinton do not fare well against Donald Trump for many different reasons. Now, Hillary Clinton was much different than even the other corporate Democrats because a lot of people voted for Trump because they hated uh, Hillary or they didn't vote at all. But the other corporate Democrats have no means of swaying anybody. They don't really, f they don't really stand for workers. And that manifests itself within this poll. Now, this poll states, it asks, If the candidates for president next time were Democrat Kirsten Gillibrand and Republican Donald Trump, who would you vote for? 42% said they'd vote for Kirsten Gillibrand, 40% said they would vote for Donald Trump, and 18% say not sure. It's a win, but it's by 2%, which is well within the margin of error, and a really razor-thin win in this hypothetical and it is something that we would not want to take a chance with. Now, it's the next question says, if the candidates for president next time were Democrat Kamala Harris and Republican Donald Trump, who would you vote for? Kamala Harris wins with 43%, Donald Trump getting 39%, and 18% saying they're not sure. So, really, it's basically the same, you know, one extra percent. Now, here is where Bernie Sanders comes into play. It says, if the candidates for president next time were Democrat Bernie Sanders and Republican Donald Trump, who would you vote for? 55% say that they would vote for Bernie Sanders, 39% say they would vote for Donald Trump, and 6% say that they are not sure. So just take that into account. It, Kirsten Gillibrand received 42%, Kamala Harris received 43%, Bernie Sanders receives 55%. Now that, what you're looking at there is a 16% win. That's a landslide. That's not even close. That is well outside of the margin of error. And Bernie Sanders would have to fuck up in multiple areas to somehow lose that margin of winning. So this again just goes to show you that the progressive candidates are the ones who will actually win elections. They're the, one who are, they're the ones who are going to be able to get the votes. They're the ones that people support because... Bernie Sanders specifically, we know that he's an honest guy. We know that he believes in what he believes in. We know that he's going to fight for what he's fought for all these years because he's been on record believing in the same stuff since literally the 80s. So it also has a question about Elizabeth Warren. It says, if the candidates for president next time were Democrat Elizabeth Warren and Republican Donald Trump, who would you vote for? 51% go for Elizabeth Warren, 40% go for Trump, and 9% say not sure. So, this is also a heavy-duty win, with 51% going Elizabeth Warren, of course, 11% well-being without outside of the margin of error. And I would say it gives the uh, candidate of Elizabeth Warren a lot of leeway as to, you know, what kind of goes on in the campaign. And it just shows you, again, that the more progressive the candidate is, the higher chance they have to win. And so we need to look at this. Corporate Democrats need to stop shilling for their, you know, corporate ideas and these candidates in which they just go all about identity politics and realize that the way for the Democrats to win elections is to move further left. And that is the truth. And if you disagree with that statement that I just made, you are not only going against the public policy polling and the polling data that I've showed you right here and for m literally months in the past and for a long, long time, Again, Bernie Sanders is the most popular United States senator in the entire country. Constantly, consistently the most popular senator in the United States. But not only are you denying that, but you are also you are also denying policy uh, or polling on policies from people which are more progressive policies. So if you are going to go by that, what you're essentially saying is, yeah, we're not only okay with losing elections, but we're basically going to try to lose elections. So we need to move further left. We need to have more progressive candidates like Bernie Sanders instead of Hillary Clinton, instead of Kamala Harris, instead of Cory Booker. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, 